conference here um, in Lincoln is, is just superb. I've been to plenty of incubation conferences around the world, and um, and I was just commenting uh, early that the sessions here are just very, very good. Lots of value, lots of new ideas, uh, and lots of evidence of what's working. It's been a, a superb conference. Uh, New Zealand's a small country, obviously, with only four million people, and we're a, a long way from the rest of the world, so to speak. Uh, so we have about eight incubators that span the whole country. Um, but being a small country has its advantages as well. We, we talk to each other a lot. We share best practice a lot. We know what each other, each of the incubators are doing. Um, but it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty good environment for, for working as a, as a startup company. Uh, most of those incubators work closely with the university uh, and our focus is on high growth companies. Uh, well, I come to the UK because I like to learn uh, what's going on here, uh, but I usually take the opportunity to tell people here what's going on in New Zealand. And there's always the chance to learn from other people's environments, what's working, what's not working. Uh, so there's definitely a good uh, information exchange both ways. The priorities like, for, for business incubation in the environment is to, uh, is to provide support to budding entrepreneurs. Uh, and the environment that you need to create to, to do that is, uh, is good access to mentors, coaches, uh, and if possible, facilities. I mean, what really uh, entrepreneurs thrive on is being able to associate and mix with other entrepreneurs, but particularly those entrepreneurs that are just slightly ahead of where they are up to. Uh, you can learn a lot from someone who's just recently gone through the same experiences that you're going through now. So that kind of uh, environment is ideal for for that situation. There's always ways of improving it, there's new innovations coming out on how you support entrepreneurs and, and incubation all the time. Uh, we've just introduced a, a seed fund for our incubators, so uh, our incubator clients, uh, giving them access to capital, uh, but there's lots of things that, uh, that can be done uh, and I think uh, even the areas of entrepreneur support, there's, there's new learnings that, uh, that we can uh, encompass to try and improve that. So you kind of broaden the services that you offer but you can also uh, deepen them as well and, and make them more sophisticated. So like entrepreneurs for example, uh, there's certain skills that they need to hone and refine, they need to learn how to observe, they need to know how to question and you can encourage that kind of behaviour with your clients. I don't think there can ever be enough support for entrepreneurs. New jobs are created through startup companies, um, so if you want to have growth in jobs and uh, you've got to create more startup companies and startup companies come from entrepreneurs. So.